acres of diamond. Russell Conwell. You can journey to the ends of the earth in search of success, but if you're lucky, you will discover happiness in your own backyard. It is easy to raise a laugh, but dangerous, for it is the greatest test of an orator's control of his audience to be able to land them again on the solid earth of sober thinking. Do you ever see a man who struts around altogether too large to notice an ordinary working mechanic? Do you think he is great? He is nothing but a puffed up balloon held down by his big feet. There is no greatness there. We must know what the world needs first and then invest ourselves to supply that need and success is almost certain. The opportunity to attain great wealth is within the reach of almost every man and woman. Let us remember there is not a poor person in the United States who was not made poor by his own shortcomings. It is all wrong to be poor anyhow. Sympathize with a man whom God has punished for his sins, thus to help him when God would still continue a just punishment, is to do wrong, no doubt about it, and we do that more than we help those who are deserving. The moment a young man or woman gets more money than he or she has grown to by practical experience, that moment he has gotten a curse. It is no help to a young man or woman to inherit money. It is no help to your children to leave them money, but if you leave them education, if you leave them Christian and noble character, if you leave them a wide circle of friends, if you leave them an honorable name, it is far better than that they should have money. In your housekeeping, whatever your life, that one thing is the secret of success. You must first know the demand. You must first know what people need and then invest yourself where you are most needed. You cannot trust a man with your money who cannot take care of his own. Your diamonds are not in far distant mountains or in yonder seas. They are in your own backyard if you but dig for them. <laughs>